Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about using the product rule of exponents. So, minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. When we think about the product rule, you should think about multiplication. That's the product. And we have exponents involved. So, let's first go through a little example. If we have x to the third power, times x to the fourth power. Here we have multiplication, product, and with exponents, right? So we're gonna use the product rule here. So let's break down what it is. Well, x to the third power is x times x times x, triple x, kinda of like the movie. Then we multiply that, so we break that here, multiply that by x to the fourth, which is four x's being multiplied x times x times x times x. There are four x's right here. I don't have four x's. Bad pun. So now we're multiplying. We know because since it's all multiplication, we have really seven x's, right? x times x times x times x times x times x times x. Okay. So we have three here, then four. Combine that together is seven being multiplied. So we have really x to the seventh power, okay? So what do we notice here? This was the same thing, x to the third times x to the fourth is equal to x to the seventh. Three plus four is seven, so that's like x to the three plus four power. And now we just saw our first example of the product rule. So let's see the product rule of, um, well, exponents, the rule here. It says, for any real number a and natural numbers m and n, the product rule of exponents states this. So here's our little rule here, okay? That a to the m power times a to the n power is equal to the a to the m plus n power. This is a good little thing to note here. Now, Remember, they said for any real number a, okay, make sure this base is the same for both, okay? A common mistake I'll see from students is a is, we'll put two here, and then this one instead of a will be like a five. It doesn't work. They have to both be exactly the same. Okay, so we'll, we'll go through some examples of that, but just so we can see it here, let's say it's two. So if we had two to the third power times two to the fourth power, well, we would add the exponents, right? The bases are the same, both two, and three plus four is seven. So we'd have a to the seventh power right there, okay? So let's go move on. Let's get some examples here, okay? So I think I should be able to fit it in, but we'll see, okay? And we'll keep this noted here. So for our first one here, we'll call it a, example a. Let's see if we can do t to the fifth power times t to the third power, okay? Well, t to the fifth power times t to the third power, if I apply the product rule of exponents here, I have to add the exponents. So, we go, well, that's the same as t to the fifth power plus the third power, okay? And remember, it's because the base is the same. Well, five plus three is eight, and we have t to the eighth power as our answer. Let's try another one, b. Negative three to the, what is this? Fifth power times negative three. Now, this one is a little tricky. Notice that there's no exponent written there. And one thing we always know is that there really is a one right there. So, what this really is, the base here, negative 3 and negative 3 are the same. We have negative 3 to the powers, we add them, 5 plus, there is a 1, and so our answer is negative 3 to the 6th power, okay? And we're just simplifying this, we're not going to actually solve what that is, okay? Lastly, or simplify up showing the base, okay? Simplifying all the way would be get the numerical answer, but we're just gonna show how we get there. Lastly, C here, 
Okay. We have this. We have x squared times x to the fifth times x to the third power. Okay? So let's go simplify that. Okay? Well, what's tricky here? Look at the product rule. It has two bases, right? And only our two items were multiplying. We have three here. We could either A, add all of them, and eventually we can because it's all multiplication, but let's show our properties. We know we can deal with just these two first, the first two, x squared times x to the fifth. So let's just deal with that. That's x to the two plus five power times x to the third. Simplify that again. Two plus five is seven. So we have x to the seventh power times x to the third. Now we can apply the product rule a second time, or more of exponents. <laughs> Add the exponents, the bases are still the same. We have x to the seven plus five, or three, three power, Ooh, almost made a mistake there. Third power, eh, three looks good enough for me. Hopefully it's good enough for you. Let me know if it is. And x to the seven plus three power is x to the 10th power. Okay? And there we have it. Our simplification is just x to the 10th power. So now you know how to apply the product rule of exponents. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to this channel, but like this video because that lets YouTube know um, we can make the algorithms and pop up first and make more videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching. Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com